Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to another video on this YouTube channel. My name is Kieran. This is Real Talk Football. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday and you're enjoying your weekend very much. If you are new to the channel, can I ask you to subscribe? That would mean a lot. You know what, I'm a bit hungover today, so this might be out a bit late. I'm a bit slow, I'm a bit slow today, but so were those players. They were all hungover as well, because that, my friends, was toxic. It wasn't the best performance, it was a toxic game to watch. Quite a shit game, quite a scrappy game. Generally, there was no attacking movement whatsoever. I mean, both teams cancelling each other out. A few chances here and there, I've seen Leeds hit the crossbar. Mendy made some very good saves today, to be fair, he kept us in the game at times. I've seen that fingertip save onto the bar, that was very good. Um, and I think the back four generally were okay. Christensen looked a bit dodgy at times. He gave the ball in, away in a dangerous area one time, but generally he was very good and so was Rudiger. Um, and then you had the likes of the fullbacks, right back, Aspie. Solid again, not really much complaining to be honest. And I thought, look, the double pivot were good. This this game was like a chess game. It was two goal and Bielsa, two tactical, two tactical managers scrapping it out, and it was a very scrappy affair. Um, not an ounce of space in the game. Leeds is always bringing high energy to a football match. It's very it's very hard to break down a team that are so invested in working hard and outworking the opponent it's it's tough i thought the attacking players were were what let us down today they were very bad <laughs> you know there's no no going around it i think movement wise the likes of pulisic havertz ziesh at times mount at times they need to be doing more in that final third and honestly do you even blame them because the, havertz is that his best position is striker's best position he's not really a natural striker and then you have the likes of pulisic playing on the right wing i didn't understand that Left wing was Pulisic's best position last season. We all know that. Why was he playing right wing? You know, And then you had Mount, in my opinion, ineffective on that left side. I think he's, he's way better central. And we've seen him on the left side today. Nullified as a player. Doesn't have the effect. But at times he was very good and he was picking out passes. But then always breaking down the final third. It's the issue we've had constantly this season. And we're just lacking ideas. We need more creativity there. Where where's the end product? Where's the end product from these players we spend so much money on? You know, it's we've we were twenty eight games into the season, and I think our top scorer in the Premier League is Tammy Abraham. <laughs> Tammy Abraham's out injured. Jorginho is our top scorer as well. Six penalties, you know. And you ask yourself, what's the end? Where's the end product from these people we spend so much money on? You know, um, fair enough. You could blame it on tactics of the manager. Two managers now. Tuchel, Frank this season. They're not showing up. Where are they? They're lost. <laughs> you know, it's starting to get annoying to be honest. And look, I haven't seen Chelsea score more than four goals in a game this season, or more than three goals in a game this season. We're lacking that cutting edge in the final third constantly. Lacking that killer up front who just scores goals on goals. You, you had your Diego Costas, you had your Drogba's, you had look. I can name every player in the book. I'm hung over, so I don't want to do that. But look. We had all of them players back then and now I look and I look to someone to have that killer uh, mentality, someone to we can depend on to score goals. We don't have that person. And you know, I watched Haaland earlier in the week. He has that killer instinct, that ability to score goals every single game. And that's someone I would love to sign, but will we get him? I think it's very unlikely. You know, there's other clubs in the mix that want Haaland. The chances of us getting are very unlikely. And when there's so many clubs in the mix, so many clubs looking for this player, the chances that he picks us, look, I'd love for it to happen. Will it happen? I don't know. But I think we need to be looking elsewhere for a hidden gem. <laughs> you know, there's so many good strikers out there. I don't think it's good enough to that Tammy Abraham, a player that's injured, a good player. Don't get me wrong, a good player, Tammy Abraham. On his day, he can be very good. But is he good enough to start? I don't think so. I don't. I think he lacks heading ability for a start. If he wants to play number nine and he's six foot five, he needs to be able to head the ball in the back of the net. That's one one weakness of Tammy Abraham's. Look, I can't even lay my finger on what the problem is. To be honest, um, we played a forward to back today. We played some great attackers in that area, and I didn't see them create one clear cut chance. And it's just like it's getting tiresome at this point. 
you know, the team's putting in great performances, don't get me wrong. Tuchel hasn't lost a league game since November 2019, so it's no fault of his. It's the players, man. They need to look at Leonardo da Vinci or um, Vincent van Gogh. Some paintings, some creative pieces of work. Today was screaming Olivier Giroud's name. He brought on Timo Werner. Fair enough, you'd expect Timo Werner to make a chance for himself. The last 30 minutes of the game, it got worse. And I'm just like, come on, man. These players, they need to do better. And I'm confident that it will come eventually. But it's like, it, it gets frustrating after a while when you're watching your team every time get into great positions in the final third and it cuts off like that in an instant they don't they, they lack the killer ball they lack killer mentality a striker up front that is able to bang in goals and make the movement needed to score goals to take the risk to run to the front post and to bang in goals in conclusion score more goals would be one priority that needs to be sorted out just score more goals, Chelsea, okay? We were saying that last season we lack the cutting edge, but we play lovely football. The same thing's happening this season, you know? And it's like, when will it end? When will it end? Um, Since Diego Costa left, really, we've been struggling to score goals. And I think that's a position, number nine, where I'm starting to come around to the fact that we need someone there that can play every game. Giroud's good. Giroud's great. But he's 34 years old, you know? So we need to invest. I think Tammy... Is a good striker as well. If he develops in the next few months, great. You know, he can be our starting striker. But right now, I don't see it, man. I don't see Tammy being the the answer to our problems. Today opened my eyes to it a little bit, you know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to do a preview for the Atletico game. So please subscribe. Please stick around if you're new. And yeah. That should be a good game. I hope to, I'm very excited for that one because it's on St. Patrick's Day, my national holiday. That's it. Please like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.